Hi guys, so this is the second video on solving systems by elimination. If you need a very basic introduction, please go watch the first video first. In this second video, I'm going to go through those two examples, which will be done the same way, but one of them involves negative integers, which tend to give us a little more of a problem. So I want to make sure I walk through one with you. Okay. So in this example, what you'll notice is different is from the first video is that there aren't opposite coefficients for either of the variables, right? We have a seven and an eight for the X's and a two and a two for the Y's. So we cannot eliminate a variable here by adding, right? Because if I tried to add these together, which I can do, I wouldn't get anywhere. I'd get 15 X and I would get four Y, right? So neither of the variables would get eliminated. So if you remember from the first video, I did tell you that elimination meant that you could add or subtract. So if you see a scenario in which you don't have opposite coefficients, but you have the same coefficient, what you're going to do one option, I'm going to show you two different ways. One thing you can do is instead of adding the equations together, let's go ahead and subtract them instead. All right. So the tricky thing here is you have to remember that everything is being subtracted. So always come back to that minus sign. All right. So we're going to start with the X values, seven X minus eight X. That gives us negative one X. 2y minus 2y is 0y, so it'll cancel out, again, achieving our whole purpose of eliminating a variable. And then on the right side of the equal sign, I have 24 minus 30, which is negative 6. And now I'm back in that nice space of a one-step equation where all I want to do is get rid of the coefficient of x, and I will do that by dividing by negative 1 on both sides. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 cancels out because it's 1x equals on the right side negative six divided by negative one is positive six and there we go i already have my x value for the solution here so now just like last time you'll pick one of the equations whichever one you want doesn't matter and we'll substitute our x value of six back into one of these equations so i'll just do the first one since i'll leave it up here so since x is six what we learned in the last video is that we're just going to take x in the first equation and replace it with six now all right, so I have 7 times 6 plus 2y equals 24. 7 times 6 is 42. Bring down my plus 2y, bring down my equal sign, and bring down my 24. Now I have a two-step equation. I like to get rid of addition or subtraction first. So I'm going to go minus 42 on both sides. On the left side, this is going to cancel out. And I'll be left with 2y equals negative 18. Now I have a one-step equation. I want to get rid of that 2. It's being multiplied by y, so I'm going to do the opposite, which is to divide by y. I don't have room, so I'll say it out loud. Hopefully you're writing it down. Divide by 2. Divide by 2 gives me y equals negative 9. So there's the y value of my solution. I already found the x value earlier, which was 6. So that means that these two lines, the two on the yellow paper, if I graph them, would intersect at the point 6, negative 9. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you a different way to do this. So if you don't like the subtraction method, you just, you learned how to add the equations together and you want to stick to addition only, here's what you can do. We want opposite coefficients, right? But we have the same ones. So what you can do is you can multiply one of these entire equations by negative one. And what that will do is change the sign of every term. And once the signs are changed, you will have opposite coefficients. So I'll do it for you. We're going to pick whichever one. It does not matter. Let's go with the bottom. So the bottom equation, I'm going to take this entire equation and I'm going to multiply by negative one. So just like I'm distributing out a negative one, right? And when I do that, I'm going to get negative eight X minus two Y equals negative 30. Don't forget when you multiply equations, one common mistake I see is students forgetting to multiply the constant on the other side. So if we're going to multiply by negative one, it's going to happen to the 8x, the 2y, and the 30. And the red equation will be my new equation. Okay. So now I'm going to erase this middle equation because this is the new one that I'm working with. Now what I've achieved by multiplying by negative one is those opposite coefficients, right? So see, now I have a 2y and a negative 2y. So if you don't like the idea of subtracting the equations, now you can add. So to recap what we did, if you had two coefficients that were the same, what you can do is multiply either one of the equations by negative one 
and that will make one of them the opposite. And now we can add them together. Let me bring this up so it doesn't look so weird. All right, so now we're gonna go through the addition process that you learned in the first video. So let's add these together. We have 7x plus negative 8x. That's negative 1x. 2y plus negative 2y cancels out. That's zero. Equals 24 plus negative 30. That's negative 6. Now I'm dividing by negative 1 on both sides. These cancel out and I get x equals 6. That's the x value. I'm not going to continue to find the y because that process is the same. But you see that we got the same x value by doing it this way. So whichever method works better for you, you can do. All right. And now I will very quickly go through this bottom example as well. Okay, so remember we have two different options. They have the same coefficient, negative nine and negative nine. So I can either subtract both of these equations or I can multiply one of them by negative one and then add, which is technically the same exact thing, right? Subtraction is just adding the opposite of something. So um, let's do it by multiplying. I'm gonna multiply this whole top equation by negative one. And I'm gonna bring the new equation down here in blue, all right? So distribute out that negative one. I have negative one times negative two X. That's positive two X. Negative one times negative nine Y. That's positive nine Y. Negative one times negative 25. That's positive 25. So now I'm gonna erase this one so it doesn't confuse us. Now that I've got those opposite coefficients that I like, I can add the two equations together to eliminate a variable. So negative four X plus two X, negative two X. Negative nine Y plus nine Y cancels out negative 23 plus 25 is 2. To get that x alone, I'm going to divide by negative 2 on both sides. 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. So there's the x value of my solution. And now, as always, the, the same process repeats. I take that x, I go into either one of these equations, and that will give me my y value. So at this point, if you want to stop the video and try it on your own and see if you get the same answer as me, um, go ahead and do that since we've done a couple together. So I'm going to take that top equation, negative 2x minus 9y equals negative 25. And now instead of writing x, I'm going to substitute it with the negative 1 that we got right here. And now I'm just going to solve my equation. So negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. I have 2 minus 9y equals negative 25. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. That'll give me negative 9y. So don't forget when you're bringing, when you're solving equations, if you're bringing things down, don't forget that the term comes with a sign before it, right? So that's negative 9y equals negative 27. And then we're going to divide by negative 9 on both sides. And that will give me y equals 3. So my y value is 3. I believe our x value is negative 1, if I'm not mistaken. I hope so. Negative 1, which means that this order pair is where these two lines would intersect if I was to graph them. Here's your practice problem, guys. Remember, you do have two options. We have the same coefficient, so you can choose to either subtract or multiply one of these equations by negative one and add, or try both methods because the more methods you have in your pocket, the better. Um, answer will be down in the description as usual.